Ecuador, the country that inspired the famous theory of evolution. Today, Ecuador is recognized as the producer of the highest quality cacao in the world. It is a country in northwestern South America, bordered by Colombia on the north, Peru on the east and south, and the Pacific Ocean on the west. During this visit, we will analyze five aspects about this country, Ecuador's top tourist attractions, if it is a tourist-friendly country, the best activities and landscapes that Ecuador has to offer, how much it will cost you to visit, and its cuisine and food accessibility. At the end of this video, we will tell you how this country does overall, from a tourist standpoint. In other words, if Ecuador is worth visiting. There will be five sloths hiding in this video. Let's see if you can find them all. Tourist attractions. Let's begin with Quito's Old Town District. High in the Andes, Quito, the capital of Ecuador, is filled with colonial architecture and is the largest historic center in South America. It was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Cuenca. It is located in southern Ecuador and is a perfect place to explore on foot. It is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The city delights visitors with its splendid colonial influences and architectural treasures, covering over 400 years of both Spanish and Indian history. Devil's Nose The track gets its name from the high cost of human life that it took to finish the train line. One of the most innovative engineering projects ever undertaken in the wild Andes. This unique track offers visitors a spectacular panoramic views of the countryside. Amazonian Hot Springs a popular tourist destination in central Ecuador, located at the western edge of the Amazon basin. They can be found among dense jungle-like forest and offers several recreational opportunities, including hiking and mountain biking. Nevertheless, they are known for its mineral-rich hot springs and many waterfalls. For this category, we will give Ecuador a 9 for its unique and historic tourist attractions. Is Ecuador a tourist-friendly country? Ecuador is somewhat safe to visit. However, be aware that it has many dangers. You should know that tourist hotspots, restaurants, shops, and public transportation are places where most robberies and pickpocketing occur and that violent crimes are present on the streets. In terms of safety, Ecuador ranked number 5 as the safest country in South America. Buses are the primary means of transportation for most Ecuadorians, guaranteed to go just about anywhere. Cities are well connected. Traveling by air is always a good option in Ecuador. It's often the safest and most affordable way to travel and cruises are a common way to get to the Galapagos Islands. Ecuador's official language is Spanish. English is the most spoken foreign language among tourist providers and professionals, but it is recommended to learn some Spanish phrases before you decide to travel. For this category, we will give Ecuador an 8. Even though Ecuador has a high crime rate, it is still considered a safe country in the region. Its transportation system is good, and with a few Spanish phrases, you will get by. Before we continue, don't forget to click on the subscribe button, so you won't miss any of our videos. Activities and landscapes that Ecuador has to offer Galapagos Islands They are a small archipelago of volcanic islands belonging to Ecuador in the eastern Pacific Ocean. The islands are somewhat remote and isolated. The Galapagos are well known for its unique ecosystem. 
which was the inspiration for Charles Darwin's theory of natural selection. Here, you might be able to see giant turtles, sea lions, penguins, marine iguanas, and different bird species. Cotopaxi is the second highest peak in Ecuador, reaching a height of almost 6,000 meters, or 19,500 feet. This volcano has one of the few equatorial glaciers in the world. Cotopaxi is also one of the highest active volcanoes in the world, with over 50 eruptions since 1738. Cuabeno Wildlife Reserve It appeals to travelers who want to experience the spectacular beauty of tropical scenery with wildlife viewing. This unique reserve is home to over 500 species of birds and 15 species of monkeys, as well as caimans, butterflies, and anacondas. It also has lots of other animals and insects. For this category, we will give Ecuador a 10. We cannot forget that in Ecuador we can find the Galapagos Islands which are some of the most famous islands in the world, plus other beautiful and unique landscapes. How much it will cost you to visit? The cost of living in Ecuador is quite low for expats, and the country continually shows up as one of the cheapest places to retire in the world. It is considered to be the fifth cheapest country to visit in South America. The average price for accommodation in Ecuador is around 15 US dollars per night in a hotel room. When dining out, an average meal will be around 5 US dollars, and for public transportation, you may expect to spend around 5 dollars per day. For this category, we will give Ecuador a 9. It is considered to be one of the cheapest places to retire in the world. Its currency is the US dollar and Ecuador is the fifth cheapest country to visit in South America. And finally, its cuisine and food accessibility. Most regions in Ecuador follow the traditional three-course meal of soup and a second dish, which includes rice or pasta and a protein such as meat, pig or fish, then dessert or coffee. Dinner is usually lighter, and sometimes just coffee or herbal tea with bread. For the most part, Ecuador is known not only for its bananas and all the dishes made from them, but for its starch consumption of products like potatoes, bread, pasta, rice and yuca. Like many other countries in South America, Ecuadorian cuisine is mostly meat-based, but unlike them, Ecuador doesn't seem to rely much on proteins from the plant kingdom like beans or lentils, so it's very hard to find a satisfying meal that is vegan in a local restaurant. For this category, we'll give Ecuador an 8. It has a unique cuisine that introduces the concept of three dishes in one meal. However, Ecuador is not a vegetarian and vegan friendly country. In our final table, we can see that Ecuador has a total of 44 points out of 50 available points. So, in our opinion, Ecuador is a good country to visit. Were you able to find the 5 slots in the video? Comment down below! Also, please be aware that you can modify this table as you wish, since a specific category might be more valuable to you depending on your travel style. Perhaps you would like to share some additional information on this topic. Stay curious, and we'll see you in the next one.